My name is Samantha St. Amand. I'm a research associate for CG's Global Economy Program. And I just came back from one of the IMF seminars called The Financial System We Want. So the seminar was about reshaping the financial system to address risks from climate change and to address financing gap for sustainable development. And the panel featured three leaders of central banks that have been at the forefront of sort of reshaping the financial system and setting up financial regulations to address these issues. So there was Governor Carney from the Bank of England, who was also the chair of the Financial Stability Board. There was Deputy Governor Yi Gang from the People's Bank of China, and also Governor Rahman from the Bank of Bang Central Bank of Bangladesh. Um, so it, it was quite a high-level panel. And what's really, what was really interesting about this is that each of these leaders has, has made um, steps to address these issues, but they've all done it in very different ways. So there's quite a wide range of issues that were discussed. So there was everything from um, risk management issues and changing financial regulation in the insurance and banking sector, um, both risks on the asset side um, in terms of, uh, for example, stranded assets, and also on the liability side, for example, in the insurance industry, and having to make payments from extreme weather events. So the second major thing that was discussed was information disclosure for companies for the risks of climate change so that markets could price in these risks into asset markets. And another key thing that was discussed was the creation of green markets, for example, green bond markets or carbon trading systems. So there were two key takeaways from this panel. The first is that the approaches to reshaping the financial system will be different depending on the country, and that will depend on the economic and financial system of that country. And then the second key takeaway is that we can be optimistic about the progress that is currently being made by all of these different central banks and their governments, as well as the Financial Stability Board, and also about the progress that's going to be made in the medium term, uh, especially by the G20, where this will become a major initiative um, in China's leadership.